Something strange is happening in our skies. First came Comet 3i ATLAS, the shattered wanderer from deep space that astronomers have been watching as it disintegrates near the sun. But now, almost unbelievably, another interstellar object has appeared. A new comet racing in from the void beyond our solar system, and some scientists whisper it may not be just a comet at all. Could it be a natural fragment from another star system, or something more? An alien device crossing into our neighborhood at the exact moment Atlas breaks apart? But as if two alien-looking comets weren't unsettling enough, Earth now faces a far more immediate danger. Astronomers have confirmed a skyscraper-sized asteroid, 2025 FA22, is barreling through space on a trajectory that will bring it frighteningly close to our planet. Measuring up to three football fields across and traveling at more than 24,000 miles per hour, this object carries the kind of energy that could flatten a city, or worse. The question scientists are racing to answer is simple yet chilling. Should we be worried? NASA has marked your calendar for September 18th, 2025 at exactly 742 UTC. That's when FA-22 makes its closest approach the distance around 842,000 kilometers. For reference, the moon is about 384,000 kilometers away. That means FA-22 will sweep past Earth at just over two times the lunar distance. And while that might sound safe in cosmic terms, it's a near miss. Remember, space is unimaginably big. Missing Earth by less than a million kilometers is like throwing a dart from New York and missing a bullseye in London by just a few inches. Early estimates put that the asteroid is 120 to 280 meters wide. That's up to three football fields across. To visualize it, think of the Statue of Liberty stacked on top of itself three times. Or picture the Eiffel Tower tipped on its side flying through space. That's how big FA-22 is. And here's the kicker. It's flying through space at about 24,000 miles per hour, or 10.8 kilometers per second. That's 30 times the speed of sound. Now let's talk discovery. FA-22 was officially spotted on March 29th, 2025 by the PanStars-2 survey in Hawaii. But here's the creepy twist. After its discovery, astronomers dug through old data and found FA-22 hiding in archival images from 2012 and 2014. For over a decade, this thing had been silently orbiting, crossing Earth's path completely unnoticed. It was right there in the background all along. That's the unsettling part. How many more giant rocks are quietly lurking, waiting to be discovered at the last moment? After the discovery was submitted, the Minor Planet Center confirmed it, and NASA Center for Near-Earth Objects Studies got to work refining the orbit. And what they found initially gave everyone chills. For a few tense days, FA-22 was flagged with a Torino Scale 1 rating meaning it had a small but non-zero chance of colliding with Earth in the year 2089. The probability? Roughly 1 in 100,000. Now that's tiny, but not nothing. For a rock that could unleash hundreds of megatons of energy, it was enough to cause a stir. Luckily, once those pre-covery images from 2012 and 2014 were factored in, the orbit became much clearer, and the impact probability for 2089 dropped to zero. For now, we're safe. Let's dive into the orbit itself. FA-22 belongs to the A-10 group of asteroids. These are asteroids whose orbits actually lie mostly inside Earth's orbit, looping close to the Sun. Its semi-major axis, basically that average distance from the Sun, is about 1.51 AU. Its eccentricity is about 0.42, meaning its path is stretched out like an oval, not a perfect circle. At its closest, FA-22 swings in to about 0.88 AU, and at its farthest, it stretches out to about 2.15 AU. It takes 1.86 years, or about 680 days, to complete one orbit. Every couple of years, it comes back around, um, every once in a while. Earth and FA-22 come uncomfortably close. So what's happening right now? Telescopes worldwide are preparing. The Virtual Telescope Project is hosting a global live stream so anyone with an internet connection can watch this asteroid sweep by. NASA's Goldstone Radar Facility is locked and loaded, planning to bounce radar signals off FA-22 to capture detailed shape images. 
Early notes already suggest it's elongated, not round, and possibly at least 220 meters long on its major axis. With radar, we might even see craters, boulders, or signs of it being a loose rubble pile held together by gravity. Meanwhile, amateur astronomers are gearing up to catch it at around magnitude 13 to 15 brightness. That's faint and visible to the naked eye, but within reach of backyard telescopes. For a week or so after Close's approach, FA-22 will be trackable, streaking across the stars like a slow-moving ghost. Now let's crunch the disaster math, because people love the data. If FA-22 actually hit Earth, and again, it won't this time, the energy released would be in the range of hundreds of megatons of TNT. That is thousands of times more powerful than the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. For comparison, the Tunguska event in 1908 flattened over 2,000 square kilometers of forest in Siberia, with a shockwave that was caused by an object maybe 50 meters wide. FA-22 is at least twice, maybe five times bigger. If it struck land, it could erase an entire metropolitan area. If it hit the ocean, it could generate tsunamis that hammer coastlines around the world. If it hit at the wrong angle, it could throw enough dust into the atmosphere to cool global climate. And remember, the minimum orbit intersection distance, or the MOID, between FA-22 and Earth is about 0.0017 AU, or just 260,000 kilometers. That's actually closer than the moon's orbit. That doesn't mean impact, but it means their orbits overlap uncomfortably. Throw in the Yarkovsky effect, the subtle push from sunlight heating one side of an asteroid, and over decades the orbit can shift just enough to change the game. That's why every decimal place in its trajectory matters. But here's what's exciting. FA-22 isn't just a threat, it's a laboratory. Radar images could reveal its shape, Astronomers could measure its rotation period by watching its brightness flicker, and spectrographs could hint at what it's made of. Metallic? Stony? Carbon-rich? Every asteroid we study now makes us better prepared for the day when one of them really is on a collision course. That's why NASA and ESA are already testing asteroid defense. Remember the DART mission in 2022? The spacecraft that slammed into the asteroid Dimorphos and successfully changed its orbit that was humanity's first planetary defense experiment. ESA's HERA mission, launching soon, will follow up measuring the crater and debris. All of this builds a toolkit for the day when an asteroid isn't just a near miss like FA-22. So let's connect the dots. First, we had 3i Atlantis, a shattered interstellar comet reminding us that our solar system is open to visitors from the stars. Now we've got 2025 FA-22, a massive Aiden-class asteroid making a dangerously close but thankfully safe flyby, and in the future, we know more are coming. NASA tracks over 30,000 near-Earth asteroids today, but estimates suggest there could be millions larger than 100 meters we haven't discovered yet. Some will miss us, some will come closer, and eventually one won't miss. That's why September 18th matters. Not because the world is ending, but because FA-22 is a wake-up call, a reminder that Earth is not isolated. We live in a cosmic shooting gallery where interstellar comets, aid in asteroids, and rubble piles silently drift across our orbital path. So mark the date, September 18th, 2025, 0742 UTC. A skyscraper-sized asteroid sweeps past Earth at just over twice the distance to the moon. Scientists will be watching, telescopes will be recording, and the rest of us will be scrolling TikTok, sipping coffee, maybe never realizing how close we came to a visitor big enough to wipe out a city. This is 3i Atlas leaving, FA-22 arriving, and humanity caught in between. Cosmic events, one after another, reminding us just how fragile our planet really is.